Okay, this is a case study, and this is about how I use Moodle 2.2 with my students in college. Um, I'd like to to tell you that I'm not an informatic. I'm I'm just a teacher. <laughs> I I I teach her how to research humanities. Um, okay. Let's begin. The context, um, this is about my experience, how I said, and how I dare, because I did it by myself, how I dare to upload uh, or to install from a version, hi on from version 2.1. This is the, the, the version I began to to change my world. Okay, in case you study, the level is bachelor. Of course, the language is Spanish. We live in Mexico City. And the course land is a, a, about six months. The course has the three units. Each unit takes about two months. And I have four academic groups in the computer engineering career. So I gathered the four groups in my Moodle has been learning and that is a URL and a snapshot of our site. Please keep in mind this, uh, there is no single correct way to use Moodle. The creativity of teachers and course creator makes each course a unique one. In this case study, I have three different roles. I am admin, I am a teacher, and I'm a course creator as well. <laughs> I hope this helps. Um, <clears throat> first of all, when all the students um, log in our Moodle, I ask each one to set the ID group in city field. I I don't dare to change this those fields because first of all I don't know, and second, all we live in the same city. And we have classes uh, to twice a week. There's a picture with my students. And furthermore, we use groups feature in many ways and for different purposes. I don't use group feature with group with academic groups. No, I use it with um, just like Moodle.org. You'll see. The course has three assessments period, and in the topic zero, I, I link uh, the syllabus with Google Docs. Here is the code I learned to to set to show any Google Doc in my course. Uh, it's highly recommended to copy and paste it and save in a text file to in order to, to link any one of our Google Docs. Um, I'm talking to you about just the new features we use the most. For example, the, the blogs. The blogs are amazing. Here's a snapshot. This is a navigation blog. First of all, I asked my students to send to the doc two blocks, main blocks, um, settings and navigation. And in this way we can we can do everything, jump from one course to another or anything. The blocks are setting blocks, navigation block, comments block, this is the most liked. Blog, course completion status blog. I set it in my session space, and I would use you. You could see the at the beginning. At the sorry at the end. <laughs> uh, well, logged in user blog because we we need uh, frequently our IP, and we used to to browse or to search in Google 
which which website it has the service and okay from mm -hmm. now our load in user block it was the right IP of each one the block when you block is a new version you're gonna see that I'm so excited just thinking about this <clears throat> The common blog that I said this blog is the most liked by my students. The beautiful of this blog is a uh, I, I I can uh, set this blog in the front page and within some activities, and and you can reproduce any can, any number of blogs you want. Here is the database uh, about our blogs, and here is the the common blog. And there, just they comment about that activity. It's beautiful to have on the front page and within some um, resource or even a resource or activity. The course completion status block has two views. The view I can see as a teacher. This is the the block. I maybe um, this is the block. With the teacher view, I just click on view course report, and then I can see it's not a great book. No, it's just a list with all the participants, all my students. And at the top, it's a list of all activities and resources, etc. And in, in checked what they have done, what they have read. It's very beautiful, this new blog. And the other view is how they look, look it, and how um, it's a, a kind of guide to them. This is the, the view, the student view. And when they click more details, they see the details, what have they done, what have they read, what is empty. It's beautiful, this, this blog. Well, this is uh, what I, uh, I was talking about, the logged in user blog. We use it, we like it, just because the um, IP data. And here is how you can you set this blog, uh, display picture, country, city, mail, etc. <coughs> it's beautiful. This blog is very useful. The next uh, uh, are exclusive blogs in in our we have the youtube blog and flickr blog blog sorry <laughs> sorry for my spanish uh, and when we edit tags uh, we like to play editing tags uh, as you see in this snapshot we can add youtube blog with the same tag uh, or a flickr flickr blog and the other exclusive blog is course overview blog. This is the old uh, my Moodle, now called my home. And uh, you can set the course overview blog, and it's very useful. Let's talk about resources. The new resources in Moodle 2.2, it's the version we are using, are this file folder. I am is content package, label, page, and URL. The beautiful of these resources and editing mode is that we can duplicate. If you see this X2, it's, uh, it depends of the depth, the icon change. Um, if you click in, in this, you can duplicate immediately any resource, any any um, activity it is so beautiful it is so useful oh my god sorry uh, the most uh, the most used resource is page we like page because you can do everything in, in the page uh, resource um, you can add a uh, multimedia content you can add iframes as you see with google docs or even a URL. We manage content with this resource as a tiny website. And I said we because um, I choose one or two students from each group, each academic group, 
to be my co-facilitator. And they they know more than me about informatics, and we we can um, change and update the course. Okay, let's see. Reusing resource and activities. This is also very beautiful feature in Moodle dot two. Sorry, two dot two. It begins in, in, in this version, just in this version. You can, if you have a lesson, you can make the backup just of that lesson and you can restore this backup in other course or in other Moodle site. Uh, this is a reusing resources and activities, a very beautiful, a very useful feature in Moodle 2.2. I am is contact package. I love this resource because I love a module book. I wrote this this uh, presentations a few weeks ago. I didn't know that a module book is going to be core in the next version 2.3. Okay. I'm so happy. Meanwhile it, 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 right now I, I don't have it as a, um, a standard model. So I uploaded, I installed it in my local and I use it in my local. When I have a book finished, you can see the this uh, book administration and this is the icon when you can generate IMS content package of all your book and then you can reuse it in my session space in iMood, it's a, uh, I think one, one, one AM is content package. You can see it there. Sorry, my mouse is crazy. Activities. Well, we have 14 activities in module 2.2. .2. The new activities are external to feedback. If it is amazing, you'll see. A standard forum display in a blog like formal, we use it. A workshop renovated and wiki improved. Um, okay. You know, you have to plan the course. You have a learning design. I don't, I don't like to, to tell construct design because it reminds me to a constructive school and I don't like constructive school so I I tell them um, learning construct. All of we we need to plan our courses we need to have a learning planning. So we we start to do some exercise with uh, with Stuart Miller in Moodle Bytes where I worked as well. And we have this. I divide the activities as I use them with my students. For example, to make them in individual way um, is a segment, lesson, quiz, score package, and external tool. A student makes a segment, nobody can see their and there are segments uh, it's an individual activity but there are some collective activities as glossaries databases forum workshop wiki and choice and finally i i divide the activities in the feedback and communication feedback module survey and chat feedback module is this the free survey we can create our own survey in a feedback module. Um, this, uh, this little icon at the right of some activities is the, the great icon. Uh, it means that all those activities can be graded and that's why I divide them. Let's see. How do you see your activities uh, in this mind? I'm going to upload this at the forum of my 
I'm in session space and I will share with you. Maybe we can uh, talk about how do you see uh, your the activities when you're planning your course. The most activity, the most used activity is database. I love database. I use for a lot of things database. I don't use workshop. I use database for workshop. I use, I, I don't use a lot of um, <clears throat> glossaries. I use one or two glossaries and, you know, of course. And uh, instead I use database, uh, graphic design galleries, PDF bank, show videos about a specific topic, gather participants URL blog, uh, co uh, we can co-evaluate, uh, we can do everything you can imagine with in this activity. I have a tutorial and I set here the URL. I'd like to share with you how to to create database presets because it's the way I use database many different ways. Okay, let's talk about how I manage the course. In using groups in our course, as I said, we don't use groups as academic groups, no. I use group, um, for example, I have group Golden Aroba, Silver Aroba, Cooper Aroba. I have the Epic Fail group and the seven in the red number icon. And that's why, because every period, every assessment period, they got a grade and they uh, are grouping in, in, the, in the group that is just like their grades. In the forums, you can see, you can see this student with three, with three icons, three little icons. They feel good with that and they like to approach and get a better aroma each period. To manage group, um, this is the, the, the steps. Go to setting blocks, then users, groups, and you can manage, as you can see at the right snapshot. And I have a lot of groups here, uh, department one, department two, department three, all kind of arrows. I have the co-facilitators group. You can see there are six of my students as co-facilitators. And, and here is a little menu to manage groups. And he, oh, sorry. Here is uh, our grouping views. We have four groupings. Uh, this is how many students are in each group and how many groups are in our groupings. Um, they, they can see when they go to participants blog, they can see how they are groupings, and it's uh, very beautiful. The reward of using this tool is students feel good about participating in forums or in a list of participants showing their group icons. They like the icons, and this encourage them to achieve the long to golden aroma. Or some special mentions, as um, for example, I, I cr I've created the DJ course group, and there's only one student. This student um, posts every night, every Friday at night, a uh, uh, sound or music or video music. And that's why we call the DJ. And it's, there's a group just for him. Okay, last but not least, uh, regarding any portfolio, I uh, create another subdomain with Mahara. And we are using Mahara, but this is another, another topic. Um, maybe I'll talk about next time. It is amazing to use Moodle and Mahara 
and if I can, I could do it, I'm sure, I'm certainly sure, you can do it. Because I'm not an informatician. Okay, one more thing. This is my top 10 module 2.x feature. This is my red carpet of, of, of the features I prefer. I'd like which are yours. I'm going to post it in the forum. Uh, no, no order, no special order. I love doc. I love navigation block, comment block, resource activity backup because of the reusable, private files, course completion block. Oh my dear, poor shell catches. This is just for admins, but it's so beautiful, this feature. I use rubrics, it's another topic. It's very extensive, but it's very useful, very beautiful. It's amazing using rubrics. Uh, conditional activities and device type things. This is so beautiful. These are my top 10 theaters marching in my red carpet. And of course, I always make a wish. Let me read you in Spanish this quote. It's about a singer, Silvio Rodriguez. Si me dijeran pide un deseo, preferiría un rabo de nube. If they tell me, make a wish, I wish, um, what do you say, Paula? I wish um, a cloud, um, a tiny cloud. I don't know how, how does it say in English. My wish number one, wake up someday and have news about book is already a standard walking. Yay. And this wish comes true. My God. I knew in this IMUT that this is a true, that it's no more a, a dream. This is real. This is for real. The book is going to be in the core. The book is going to be another source more. Wow, let me breathe, <laughs> deeply breath. This is so beautiful. And wish number two. Um, someone, I don't know who, <laughs> has created another Moodle plugin that works just like Hangout in Google Plus. Where my students and I could have a Hangout. A lot of us can have a Hangout. That's a wish. And the third wish, a workshop that uh, allows us. Everyone could create everyone. Everyone can watch everyone. And uh, yes, I love it too. And allow um, to upload any kind of file. And uh, this workshop could have an interface like a database, sort of. It's my last dream. But I'm so very happy because one dream comes true. <laughs> I want to be uh, grateful with the very special mudras. The thanks of them, we are enjoying this amazing thing called Moodle. I want to thank Moodle headquarters. Without their effort and dedication, Moodle wouldn't be so awesome. And uh, of course, I want to thank Martin Dugamas because without him, Moodle wouldn't exist. And this is a kind of dedication. My 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 presentation is dedicated to all of them. It, okay, in this thank you is uh, a link for my Moodle blog. But this is Maria Moodle. If you see. This is a, or this was a, a message to you asking to go to Tracker Moodle and vote for book to be a core. Oh, well, okay, Maria Moodle, good news. Your dream comes true. And I think that's all. Thank you for, for your assistance. And do you have any questions? Shane, um, could we let them to to speak?
Uh, hi, Mario. Yes, I'll enable the audio for everybody. Thank you so much. I go. like so to hear people want to speak. Guys. Um, I have a job change. It's supposed that I, I had to, to present this in Spanish too. I could do this in the next session. Um, okay, sure. Paula. Yeah, love to hear it in Spanish. Uh, thank you. Okay. Now um, you can use your your mic, please. No, I have my own module, Paula, because my school is still using a one of nine version. Oh, uh, don't worry. Uh, I have my own domain since a very years ago. It's mmendiola.net. And I have a lot of subdomains. The, the subdomain I use for my model is humanidades.mmendiola.net. And I use another subdomain for my model blog. I use a lot of subdomains. It's very cheap. I pay that uh, yearly. And I, I'm learning, or I've learned how to, to, to um, update. Model, I was so scared. Oh, no, no, they are still in a stationary way with Moodle one dot nine. That's what I want to 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 reproduce this in Spanish. I invite some some um, Latin American teachers, and they are going to see the record. Uh, well, the next next session, I'm, I'm going to do it in Spanish. This is uh, to encourage all of them to to dare to upload their models. And it's easy. Uh, I was telling that um, Burg Olka Chess is uh, an admin feature. Well, oh, I am an admin, but I pure catch uh, very frequently times. And it's a beautiful future. Mm. Jan, do you want to use your audio? Or did you have another question? Oh, that's good news, Paula. You, you know, I told you, Paula, whatever I could do to advise you, I'll be there. Again, Kevin. Don't worry, you. It, it, it is so easy. I invite you to to watch the, the downloads I upload to my session a space in IMOD. I left uh, an IM. Yes, um, file. I left you there. Um, what? Ah, a choice of a backup and uh, a, a database present. It's for you. Yes, of course. It's so beautiful. The the first um, freaky time or freaky yeah. moment to okay. use. Uh, Moodle 2 is about the, the, the um, speaker files. It's another layout, it's another way to use on upload uh, files. But the speaker files is it's amazing, too. It's a topic for a whole presentation. And it's so easy, and you're going to love it, too. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, John. Thanks so much, Hein. I think it's this is it. Um, dear models, I wait for you in my session space. There, there are some downloads waiting for you. And thank you so much.
Thanks, oh, Martin. Thanks, Mario. On behalf of the whole iMOOC team, much appreciate you giving over your time and, and sharing your, your study. Um, very interested. And look forward to the, the Spanish version. The next, the next session, yes. Thanks to all of you. Thanks, Paula. Thanks, Jan. Thanks, Shane.